What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2 on the Xbox One. Now this video applies to all platforms, however just for example purposes, I am on my Xbox One account since I am in the middle of progression on this account. Now uh, lots and lots of people have uh, been asking just hundreds and hundreds of questions a day about gear. Gear progression, what's the max, what do you go by, everything else. There's a long list. And first off, I wanted to say, as you're going through the chaos tiers and you're ranking up, never for any reason should you ever have to look up some spreadsheet on the internet of max armor values or max cell values or anything else. None of that is even remotely required. Uh, the only thing that is for is for min-maxing. Now, there's no reason to attempt to min-max anything until you get to Chaos 7 as clearing each individual chaos tier the max gear from the previous tier, uh, previous tier is not not even close to being required now a lot of people are trying too hard <laughs> for lack of better words let me give you an idea of what my hero deck looks like now i'm playing on the original four heroes uh, the original four heroes can clear all the content in the game there is no reason to think that you need another hero you should get another hero if you want them, and eventually you should get all the heroes because they're a lot of fun. But as far as progressing and getting through the game and getting to Chaos 7, the original four heroes can get the job done all the way there, no problem. Now on this account, I am, uh, what, Ascension 55 now. I am about to make the move into Chaos 4. Now, uh, I would be much lower Ascension level, but of course we know that the Xbox has not been patched yet. So it still has the XP glitch that the PC and the PlayStation had just a few days ago. Now, I've got a Huntress, an Apprentice, a Monk, and a Squire. The original four heroes, and right now in Chaos 3, all I am using for towers are I'm using the Squire for walls, and I'm using the Monk for flame auras and Skyguard towers for the air control. So currently, I'm not using my Huntress at all. So... My Huntress doesn't have any gear. There's no reason to have any gear on the Huntress. There's no reason for me to ever think about putting any gear on the Huntress. Because all that gear is going to be replaced before I even bother using the Huntress again. Now, as I mentioned, I'm using Flame Auras on the Monk and Skyguard Towers. So, I've got two Relics on each one on each of those defenses. No other gear required, as I'm not using the Monk for anything else other than just to build those towers. And then we've got the Squire. The Squire, I'm just using blockades. Once again, I've got a totem on my blockades, and I don't intend to use anything else. Now, as you see, like this piece, I upgraded. Um, I spent Defender Medals to upgrade it. I got about 6,000 Defender Medals complete in the campaign. And I've gone all the way up to Chaos, like I said, about to start Chaos 4 now, and I've still got 2,000 Defender Medals left. So I have uh, spent some Defender Medals on upgrading shards and upgrading gear. However, I didn't upgrade everything. Now, we all know that all loot that drops is based off of the strongest hero in your deck. So if you want to eliminate all those questions of which hero is the strongest hero and which hero is loot dropping based off of, Take all the gear off everybody else, and then the one hero that has a full set of gear is your strongest hero in the deck. Now, the reason I say you never need to tab out and look up anything on the internet, you never need to look up cell values or armor values or max stats or anything else, because you just play. You play the game, uh, you've got your one hero that's fully geared, and if you find an item that's better than what you're using, then by all means throw it on. Now you see, uh, like these pieces, I didn't upgrade any of them except the weapon. Oh, actually, I didn't even upgrade the weapon. I thought I did. Now, throughout the game, you're also going to be getting a bunch of junk relics that have the wrong stats on them, whatever the case is. Now, they might have strong stats on them. They just might be the wrong ones. So I take all those junk relics, and I throw them all into a slot on my DPS hero. So these are all of the strongest relics I've found 
in Chaos 3, and I've got them all equipped now. That way I'll get relics dropping in that tier. So just about all the relics, I'm, you know, there is a range. There's a low and a high, but almost all the relics I'm getting now are really close to the top of Chaos 3, and that's after probably like 10 to 12 Chaos 3 runs. So speaking of, I just finished a run. I've got my bags, and I want to show you, just show you all what I do at the end of each run. So uh, once again, no gear on anybody. None of it matters except the relic position, except on your active hero. Now uh, let's go ahead uh, over and take a look at the gear. Now uh, I'm not using any marks yet because I'm not close enough to the crit chance. Actually, I am close enough, but I just haven't found any relics that have been exceptional. So you've got a decent totem there. See, those gloves are not quite as good. Basically, I'm just looking at the... Uh, actually, those gloves are a little bit better, I think. So I will go ahead and equip those. Now, I'm not looking at the armor value. What I'm looking for on my apprentice is ability power. Those gloves have more ability power, so I'm going to use them. So let me go ahead and pull my shards out of there and make sure I put those in later. And let's see what else we got. Those gloves are even better, actually. So let's just go ahead and insta-swap those right out. And there we got a 3800 medallion, a 4020 or a 4038 medallion. And let's take a look at these weapons. That weapon I just got, so I'm not thinking I'm going to find anything close to that. Now that is a pretty decent item, I think, right there. I think I'm going to go ahead and pop that orb into whatever the lowest medallion slot I have. And see, and it looks like 4052, 4050. It looks like it's that one right there. And let's see, that weapon is not as good when you look at uh, the amount of ability power and just having the four stats from a legendary. That, that, that item is... Actually, it's questionable. I'm not going to use it. Let's see. Now that, this staff has higher numbers on it. However, it doesn't have any ability power, so I'm not going to bother with that. No good there. There's a 4085. Now that will actually replace one of those other Lobi relics. That one right there. Let's see, no ability. Not Actually, that's got a little bit more ability power and health, but no hero crit damage. So I'm going to stick with the ones I have. No good. Yeah, it's actually a slightly better piece. But only slightly. I'll go ahead and pop it in anyway. And now anything else in my bag, I'm not worrying about. So the monk weapons that dropped, the huntress weapons that dropped, I'm basically ignoring all of those. Let's see what else we got here for shards. There's another fortification. I will uh, keep that guy around. And empowered bolts. I think I've already got a copy of that. Anyway, so you're trying to gear one hero out. And all the, everything that drops is going to be based off of this hero's gear. Now, like I said, you're just going through the chain. You don't need to have the maximum for Chaos 1 to be able to start Chaos 2. Um, just have something that's in the top tier. Uh, when you start a new Chaos tier, there's going to be a wide range of loot that drops. From loot that's not quite as good as the previous tier's absolute high end to stuff that is just way substantially better. And depending on how much luck you have, you're going to have to work your way through that chaos tier to get yourself the upgraded loot from that tier. Now, what makes you decide when to move up to the next tier is if you're in chaos 2 and chaos 2 becomes really easy for you, move up to chaos 3. Uh, if you're in chaos 3 and chaos 3 comes e really easy for you, move up to chaos 4. So like right now where I'm at, I'm in the position where Chaos 3 is becoming really, really easy, and I think it's time for me to make the jump to Chaos 4. 
Now I'm deciding that based off of my gameplay, not looking at a cell value, not looking at an armor value, not looking at anything else, because none of that matters. Uh, I'm going to be able to compare the items to my active hero, which is my one hero that loot is being based off of, every single run, and make the, determ the determination of whether or not a piece is an upgrade or not. And uh, hopefully this helps to answer some questions. Uh, everybody's sweating the gear a lot, and everybody's sweating the ascension level a lot, and you really don't need to. Uh, no Chaos tier has an ascension requirement. So you can go as high as you can. If you've got, say, a set of maxed out Chaos 1 gear, or you've got a, you know, above average set of Chaos 1 gear, and you're jumping into Chaos 2 and having a problem, First off, you just step to the next difficulty. It should be a little bit tough, but on the same note, maybe you should recheck your build because we do know there's hard counters in the game and you have to build to those mobs' weaknesses and not thinking about how you built in the previous Chaos tier. So uh, once again, hopefully this helps to answer some questions. Don't worry about your Ascension level. Don't worry about what is the max for each tier. None of that's important. Uh, the name of the game is Progression. Uh, if you want to play through the game and you want to get all the way up to Chaos 7, you never really ever have to look at anything. Just look at the piece, look at what you're wearing, and decide if it's better or not. And that's just about it. But that will do it for now. Thank you for watching. Click that like button and please subscribe. And I will be back soon with some more DD2. Thanks again. I'll see you.